Could it be any more obvious that we're getting another Dead Space? Now, this won't be Dead Space in name. This game is the Callisto Protocol. But everything in this trailer points to it being Dead Space. We're going to dive in, we're going to check it out, and then we'll come back and talk about it. All right, so I saw this trailer and I lost my mind. First off, Striking Distance Studios. And that's important to note because the the lead creative director of Striking Distance Studios was also one of the two lead creative directors on the original Dead Space. This is the guy that brought us everything we loved about Dead Space, uh, Dead Space that made it Dead Space to begin with, uh, and what made it unique and different from other games. So let's keep that in mind. All right, it looks like a prison. Now I'm going to roll this back really quick. I want to point something out. If you look up in the corner, it says, I see was here. Now this is obviously a reference to Isaac Clark from Dead Space. But even beyond that, Isaac Clark being the, the pro main protagonist of the original trilogy, uh, underneath that it says JC was here too. JC was the secondary protagonist in the third Dead Space game, Jonathan Carver. So, it's pretty obvious at this point. Uh, let's, let's keep going. Alright, so they're in a prison. We're getting a look at the cell. Now, let me back it up really quick. So if you look in the lower right hand corner of the screen where my camera was to begin with that I moved out of, um, you can see it says the engineer's handbook. And if you know Dead Space, you know Isaac Clarke was an engineer, he wasn't military. Um, so the fact that there's an engineer's handbook here strongly pointing at there being ties to that is important. Now what's even more interesting is if you look at the author of the book, it says it's written by E. Lankford. And Ellie Langford is a very important character in the Dead Space trilogy. So obviously there's way more going on here than anyone would like to admit. All right, let's continue. Now, really quick, as you can see here, he has the thing on the back of his neck. He has some kind of an implant, some kind of a technological implant, which is displaying a, a color-coded display, which is absolutely exactly what Dead Space did. And it, it, this isn't portrayed in the exact same way, although maybe him being a prisoner means it's slightly different than like the character you play as might have it incorporated. But the general gist that they're trying to get across is that this is Dead Space. like. There's going to be a display on the back of your character that me measures your health, tells you how you're doing, and that mechanically this game is going to work in exactly the same way as Dead Space. And all of these hints pointing at that is just just insane. Like, anyone who's wanted a Dead Space for forever, or for Dead Space to return to its roots, and the way that the first game and to an extent the second game was, like, everyone should be excited at this point. Like, every single thing that they're throwing at us in this trailer is just smashing us over the head saying, hey, this is Dead Space. All right, so he wakes up. It's obviously sci-fi. It's obviously set in the future, possibly a near future. We see that he's a prisoner. I'm pretty sure he's not the main character. We've got malfunctioning security droids. But they're doing it in a way where it's scary. You know? It's not just like, hey, robots, shoot him. Clearly they're trying to sort of evolve the formula and add in some new things, but do it in a way that keeps the Dead Space's feel and stays scary. You've got this new version of, of what used to be the Necromorphs. Uh, obviously, it's rewriting his DNA, changing its body to be used for whatever it deems necessary. It's not just a traditional zombie. It's very clearly more 
closer to the the type of enemy that the necromorph was you are cleared for landing and then we see out the display window that we are in space we're on another planet or or possibly a moon and there are spaceships so this looks absolutely insane i can't wait so after that trailer it is 1000% obvious that this is a new Dead Space game. Now, it's obviously not technically a Dead Space game uh, because EA owns the rights, but it is supposed to be taken as a spiritual successor. Um, the short interview given after this trailer at the Game Awards confirmed that they are going for a third person horror with the emph emphasis on horror, but with a healthy dose of dose of action as well which is exactly what dead space was dead space was amazing uh there hasn't quite been a game like it since and i've wanted a dead space 4 for so long and the fact that we're getting that but also the potential to to kind of take it more in the direction of its roots with the first game and as i said earlier to to an extent the second game is really really exciting and i can't wait to see where this game goes like the fact that it's also coming to next gen consoles and the production quality, the production value is going to be way up here is just, it's everything I ever wanted. You know, a, a, a triple A next gen spiritual successor to Dead Space. It's coming and I can't wait. Subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this. Do you think I'm crazy? Because if you think I'm crazy, you're crazy. And uh, I'll see you next time.